The Linux Foundation recently updated the objectives for the Certified Kubernetes Application Developer exam. My name is Mumshad Manambet, and in this video, I will walk you through the new curriculum and how to prepare yourselves for the exam. Towards the end of the video, we will also go through some tips and answer some of the most frequently asked questions about the exam. So uh, before we begin, um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel as we post new videos every week. So let's go over the new changes in the exam objectives first. So the one uh, on the left is the new exam curriculum and the one on the right is the old exam curriculum. The new one on the left was updated at the end of September 2021. Now I have highlighted the new exam objectives in green boxes um, and that's really the differences. So there are a few new concepts to learn such as building container images, uh, blue, green or canary deployments, Helm, understanding API deprecations, discovering and using resources that extend uh, the Kubernetes CRD. Uh, so that's uh, custom resource definitions and some security related concepts such as authentication, authorization and admission control. Now we have already covered the security concepts in the CKA course if you uh, have happened to take that. If not, don't worry. All of these topics and the associated lab exercises have now been added to the CKAD course. So let me quickly show that. So in the CKAD course, if you go towards uh, the end, you have the uh, a new section called updates for September 2021 changes. And here you have all of these new uh, concepts that that's that'll be listed here. Okay. So let's go over some of the common issues that students report to me after they take the exam and let's see what we can do um, some tips and tricks that you can follow to not do the same mistakes right so one of the most uh, common complaint i get is that i was sure i did it right but i still got it wrong right so i have students who have uh, told uh, me that i have i was sure that i did a lot of it right and uh, i thought i would get 100 percent, but i still did not happen to get 100 percent. there was i still lost some points so I'm thinking this could be because there may be things that you might have missed. So of course, it's important to read the question carefully. But some of the detail, like for example, the pod names or image names, it's possible that you might have missed it uh, or mistyped it, right? A simple typo could also uh, cause this uh, issue. So the first tip is always copy and paste. Okay. So what I mean by that is Okay, so let's take this for example. In this question, in this mock exam, uh, the question is to deploy a pod named Nginx448839 using the Nginx Alpine image. Now, I could create a pod using the kubectl run command. And what we should do is you should always copy the name and, and paste it so that you don't make a mistake, right? some numbers or some names could have multiple text characters in it and uh, you know some weird numbers you don't really want to risk uh, typing the wrong uh, information and then i'm just going to put in the image and i'm also going to copy and paste the image okay so that's the first tip so the second one is always validate your work immediately after you're done okay so that means in this case as soon as um, I'm done creating this pod, what I should do is I have to make sure that I run the get pod command and and make sure that the pod um, is actually there. So I have the nginx 448839 here and also make sure it has it has the right image. Alpine okay so you don't want to spend 10 minutes solving a question and probably having you know misconfigured something and not knowing it so it's important that you spend an additional minute in verifying um, your work comparing it against what, what was asked in the question okay um, the next complaint um, that we get is that I ran out of time so that's common so one of the tips to crack that is always use imperative commands 
So for uh, creating a pod, use the kubectl run command, and for uh, create uh, for everything else like deployments, namespaces, config maps, uh, use the create command. And for editing something like editing a replica set or deployment, something that's already created, use the edit command. So that's kind of the easiest. And also use um, the help um, if you ne you need to check the syntax. So let's say you have to create a deployment, and you want to make sure you want to specify some things. So it's easy to just use uh, use the help and look up uh, the syntax as well as some of the options. And most of the time, you should be able to use these options and uh, run the command um, in one shot to get the job done and not really have to play around with a YAML file. Another question we get is, um, I spent a lot of time, I got stuck troubleshooting one question, right? So that's possible. There may be like easy questions, there may be hard questions. And for the hard ones, uh, it's possible that you might run into some issue. You might have misconfigured something and so you're stuck then troubleshooting and identifying what the problem is right now you know the tip for that is don't get stuck so when you're stuck uh, don't spend too much time and if you don't think you can quickly figure out the problem or the solution to that um say in three to four minutes i would say you pause that and skip ahead and attempt and complete as many questions as possible right and then at the end you can come back to it so you don't necessarily have to do things in a in a particular order so uh, I can understand that, you know, that engineering mind trying to, you know, troubleshoot and, and, and make sure you fix it, you know, to stay all night and troubleshoot and fix things. But this is not the time for that. Uh, right now, our goal is to complete the certification. So uh, just skip and go ahead. And even if you miss one or two questions, it's fine. Um, you only have to score on whatever, you know, percentages, questions it is to, to pass the exam. So uh, the final few tips, right? Um, so all of the labs, we have labs for almost um, all topics, right? So, all, so go through and do all of those labs multiple times, as many times as you can. And um, also the lightning labs, the lightning labs are configured uh, for speed. So they'll challenge your speed. So this is what you should do to really get your hands uh, moving really fast so that you can complete tasks in time and also the mock exams so make sure you go through the lightning labs and mock exams multiple times um, until you feel confident well that's all for now i wish you all the best for uh, clearing the certified kubernetes application developer exam and i will see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we release new videos every week